So you can see that the dome is nearing completion. Most of the builds are at least halfway done. But when they're done, you'll need a way to play Hunger Games. And of course, in all Hunger Games maps, you have chests hidden everywhere. And this is a survival world. So we have to find a way to get the chests loot and to get the chests placed down. So uh, the plan we have right now is to use shulker boxes. We fill the shulker boxes elsewhere with random items of varying tiers and then a player will go hide them in a section. Each player will hide it in a different section and then when the game actually starts to prevent some bias because like the person who hit it would obviously know where they put it they would just start off going in a different direction or that general different direction but we need the redstone to do the automatic chest filling so we have to build something it's gonna be medium sized so we're gonna have to build it outside of the dome at first I was gonna do a like a Amazon fulfillment center because you go there you you fill the boxes and you deliver them, but I realized those looked really boring. So instead I'm thinking of doing a steampunk thing that's like floating above the water, big hot air balloon, and it ha it'll be like a contraption floating in the sky to fill up the chests. So for that I'll need a lot of red wool for the hot air balloon itself, and then spruce wood, because that seems like a good steampunk colored wood. I guess it's time to get the resources for that. Okay, so for this we want some spruce wood. We don't we don't have that. We have a solid a hundred no, not even a hundred pieces of wood. Um and I don't think we can buy any just quite yet. But we also need wool for like the hot air balloon part. And there is a wool shop where we might be able to buy enough. Alright. I don't think it'll be enough though. I'll have to ask him about that. So instead of buying out his entire stock and still needing more, I'm gonna do a little bit of a sneaky. A small sneaky. Oh, what are those I'm holding? I don't know. What are they? Oh, I don't know what this thing in my hand is here. You tell me. You tell me. I wonder, What is it? I don't know what it is. No idea. What am I, I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not here right now. We have a lot of wool, but now we have to get a lot of spruce wood. That might be, might be annoying. I could go to Mega Taiga. So, I went to look for a Mega Taiga biome to get some spruce wood, but I couldn't find that, so I bought some from someone. 18 diamonds for this isn't bad, and I think it'll be enough. I got like, just as much wool. It'll definitely be enough. I'll start building it. It'll be kind of floating. Those two clouds, they're vibing. What if we vibe in the clouds? Alright, it's time for rod soccer. Kind of hard to get it in the middle. Alright, that's good. Let's get get back to our goals. Like like how it is in real soccer. Yes. Alright, so the goal is to get it into your goal, right? Yes. Okay. Goal is to three, two, one, go. Okay. No. Oh. What? No. No. <laughs> oh, that no. works. <laughs> what? No. I really don't like. Oh, oh! I pulled it right after. Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright, so we're here in my test world. See, it's got like the beginning of the stick, some little tiny volcano thing, and I'm making a blimp, and I'm just testing out how big the actual blimp should be, because I don't want to do it and then have it look weird. Like, this, this was a little too big, took a lot of wool. And this looks fine, although it should be a little taller. So I'm not going to rebuild it again, I'm just going to build it another block higher in the survival world. Because I have a nice little application that will generate it for me. You can do, do any set of parameters and it will make it look pretty smooth. I'll get to build that on the survival world. It doesn't actually take a lot of wood. I um, sort of bought 18 
stacks of logs, maybe. But that'll give me logs for anything else I need. Alright, we're back in the room, and these are my materials. I have just enough wool. And some extra logs. So I guess it's gonna be gonna be there in a second. <coughs> Alright, I'm back. See I have the the floating part done, just like the boat. Just kinda cut to me finished with it because it was kinda boring. But next I'm gonna build the actual blimp. Yes, this is a good amount of wool. And I'll start placing it. The time lapse, why not? Okay, we're cutting it close with the amount of wool we have. Um, this the stack can do this, right? I'm I'm scared of how close that was. A little lit in this house. That was actually pretty easy to build. It took like just over 20 minutes. As far as building these big circular objects go, this is like the easiest one. Um. As you can see, that one was a little harder, and my own base was a little harder, That's, and also I didn't have to drain it. I'll get those rocket boosters on, put it on the put it on the balloon, that's realistic. I'll make it out of wood, that'll be even more realistic. Okay, the rocket booster I built isn't exactly great, but it's there, and it, it looks fine from far away. Yeah, that looks like, like a blimp, yes. Um, th that's it. The uh, next time I'm gonna build the redstone in there. So that's it. Goodbye. Leave like, subscribe for free gift card giveaway. Just kidding, no.